Good morning, everyone. We are already uh, in the part of May. And today, the Lord's Day, would like to uh, ask you to join us in the Sunday worship. Uh, we would like you to prepare, prepare your families, your children, your visitors, if there are, and even your time allo allocation. Uh, you have to be as if we are uh, in the Church of the Living God in Bangkal. And happy Lord's Day. And to start with, let's have a vibrant singing for God's glory and honor. Let's call our song leader this time, Brother Dondon Galisay. Okay, good morning. Sato ang singing first hymn. He is able to deliver thee. Page 176. Is the run. I know. Thank you. 
kabanday. Good morning, brethren in Christ. For our scripture reading this morning, let us all open our Bibles in Daniel chapter 12 and let us read verses 1 to 12. Once again, for our scripture reading this morning, let us all open our Bibles in Daniel chapter 12 verses 1 to 12. Daniel chapter 12 verses 1 to 12 verse 1 and at the time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that to that same time and at the time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And they shall that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked, and behold, there stood other two, the one on the side of the bank of the river, river, and the other on the side of the bank of the river. And one said to the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, How long shall it be to the end of these wonders? And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, and swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times and a half, 
And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. Verse 8, And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly. And none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abom abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Verse 12. Blessed is he that waiteth, and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. May the good Lord bless his holy word. Okay, let's have a word of prayer. Gracious, heavenly loving Father, Lord, thank you for this morning once again in which we could worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you for everyone's presence at home as they comply to our worship scheme. And Lord, please bless our service today, especially towards our pastor for giving. Please give him the wisdom and knowledge of God as he brings your word and also understanding towards us the members and Lord please forgive us in all our sins and please hear all our requests preserve us in these troubled times and Lord please uh, be in our midst today find the forces of our enemy trying to disturb our service and let us worship you together oh God with uh, goodness and grace and as we continue bless the remaining parts of the program In Christ's name we pray Amen In times This rock is Jesus, 
still sees the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the sun. Thank you for the uh, special numbers, and I hope that you will also participate. Those who have special numbers, just keep in touch with our crew. And this Sunday, I would like to ask your favors. Uh, please continue to pray for Sister Tetet Pamplona. Uh, she is in uh, the hospital SPMC. And this time we would like to, to open our Bibles in the book of Daniel chapter 12. Daniel chapter 12. I will read Daniel chapter 12.
Daniel chapter 12 verse number 1 And at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever but thou o daniel shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased then i daniel looked and behold there stood other two the one on this side of the bank of the river and the other on that side of the bank of the river and one said to the man clothed in fat in linen which was upon the waters of the river how long shall it be to the end of these wonders and i heard the man clothed in linen which was upon the waters of the river which he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven and swear by him that liveth forever forever that it shall be for a time times and a half and when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people all these things shall be finished and i heard but i understood not then said i O oh, my lord what shall be the end of these things and he said go thy way daniel for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end many shall be purified and made white and tried but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand and from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that make it the de make it desolate set up there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days blessed is he that waited and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days may the lord god bless his holy word let us go to the lord in prayer gracious heavenly loving father in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ we magnify your holy name we extol your holy name we praise you lord for you are worthy lord first we would like to be cleansed by the forgiveness of our sins and iniquities through our lord and savior jesus christ Thank you, Lord, for the forgiveness of sins. Lord, we would like to thank you for the good weather, for we can still have time to continue in serving you only, Lord, through live streaming. Thank you, Lord, that we can still have in our homes joined together during the Lord's Day, having, Lord, our voices, having, Lord, the ministering of thy word, having lord special numbers for our uh, worship service unto you lord god thank you for all the blessings we receive thank you lord for the protection we we receive likewise and thank you lord for the problems likewise we may not understand it now but we will understand it better by and by thank you lord for all the members and brethren in their homes uh, today the lord's day thank you that we can sing together we can worship together we can uh, hear the words together and lord uh, we 
Pray for special mention for Tetet Pamplona. She is now in the hospital, and we pray, Lord, for soon recovery. Your healing hands, O Lord, be laid upon her. I pray for the Pamplona family. Brother Boboy, please strengthen him, encourage him, likewise with the brethren and kindred of the Pamplona clan. And Lord, as we continue this morning, I pray for wisdom, I pray for understanding. Give us, Lord, a heart to listen to the word and be informed of what is uh, going to happen. Uh, please make us, Lord, aware so that we will not be astounded, we will not be amazed by what is happening in our times today because we are in the end times. And Father in heaven, I pray for understanding. Bless our children, bless our young people. Bless the Lady Circle, the Navigators, and the whole church likewise. Lord, provide, Lord, please, our needs, each one, each family presented. I know, Lord, that this time we are uh, being quarantined for a long time, and that's why, Lord, our resources are few. But, Lord, we depend on your uh, intervention to give us all the supplies. Lord, as we continue, bless our city. Bless our Mayor, Sara Duterte. Bless our President, uh, President Rodrigo Duterte, and all the LGUs and the frontliners likewise. Bless, O oh God, our uh, kindreds, our, my colleagues, pastors of different churches in Davao City. Please help them, Lord, to continue, Lord, ministering, Lord, to their respective members. I pray, O oh God, that you will also provide uh, their needs and our needs so that we can continue lord in serving you in these last days blessed be the name of the lord this is our prayer and we ask only in the precious name of christ jesus our lord amen and amen <clears throat> uh we have already discussed uh long a month ago about the rapture of the church saints we have also discussed about the millennial reign of the Lord Jesus Christ, which, wa which is 1,000 years. And in between, in between the rapture of the church saints and what we call the millennial reign of the Lord Jesus Christ for 1,000 years, we have the slot called the Great Tribulation period this period is sometimes known as jacob's trouble <clears throat> in our text meaning uh, because the people israel in the church age did not acknowledge the messiah jesus christ as lord and savior uh, they will be given a time by uh, let uh, by by them during the tribulation period for seven years but they will not stay for the seven year period they will be just within the first three and a half years so it is the great tribulation period is between the rapture and the millennium this is a period of seven years divided into two Three and a half years plus three and a half years and total is seven years. Now let's let's get a reference to this in Revelation chapter uh, 11 verse number 2. Revelation chapter 11 verse number 2. But the court which is without the temple live out and measure it not for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city shall they tread under foot forty and two months. So this is the first three and a half years if you divide forty two months that's equivalent to 
uh, three and a half years. Then let's proceed to Revelation chapter 13 verse number 5. Revelation 13 verse number 5. <clears throat> and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to, com to continue forty and two months. So he refined the, the wickedness of the Antichrist. They will continue for another three and a half years, 42 months. So uh, why is it that it is very important to know about the tribulation period? Uh, I would like you not to be not to be discouraged not to be what we call this offended when you hear about the great tribulation period because if you know the things what are happening this great tribulation period uh, is a a thing that is being plan of god that will really happen because this was promised by god to jacob and this was called jacob's <clears throat> trouble however however there are so many that will be saved during the tribulation period and we will discuss it later so number one is we will discuss about in during the tribul tribulation period the method of soul salvation unsang paagi sa kaluwasan during this time what will be the method of salvation this time? The method of salvation during this period of seven years is still the same. No? It is still by faith and by grace. <clears throat> Missionaries of God during the first three and a half years uh, are the Israelites. They are what we call the the servants of the Lord during the first three and a half years. And that would result to so many that will be saved. Uh, because, ato makita na, I would like to have a reference on this. No? Kasi matingala mo nga, Pastor, dagan ba ma-save during the tribulation period? Yes. Imagine, God is sending 144,000 a men servant Israelites. They act as missionaries globally. Aside from the two witnesses in a person of Elijah and Moses. Now let's get the reference. Let's go to Revelation chapter 7 verses 13 and 14. Revelation chapter 7 verses 13 and 14 <coughs> 13 saying amen blessing 12 muna saying amen blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our god forever and ever amen verse 13 and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed with white robes? And whence came they? So where, as manigikan sila. These, kanang white robes. Now in verse 14, And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest, and he said to me, these are they which came out of, of great tribulation and have washed their robes made and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. <clears throat> so these are <clears throat> the people. If you try to trace Revelation chapter 7 during the first 1 to 8 verses, here are the missionaries. The result the result of what we call their missionary work were the salvation of these people. So many. 
Imagine 144,000 missionaries. That's why, and the method of salvation is still the same. Uh, ang nakasunti, and they had been washed <coughs> in the blood of the Lamb. <coughs> Meaning, it is still the same. Salvation was still by the grace made by the uh, made on the cross of Calvary, and this was the preaching of these one hundred forty-four thousand. The preaching was Christ died to to be the propitiation of the sins of mankind, and many during the tribulation believe, and they stand in heaven, and there explain, these are the people coming out from the great tribulation <clears throat> period. <clears throat> another thing, another thing is, gitawag uh, adunay uh, mga missionaries. Number two is, the men servant of God. Who are the men servant of God during the tribulation period? Now we have read that, no? Uh, let's go to Revelation chapter 7, verses 1 to 8. Let's read this. Revelation chapter 7, verse 1 to 8. Verse 1. And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Verse 3, <clears throat> saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Verse 4, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of God were sealed twelve thousand. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephtalim were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manassas were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi, Levi were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. And of the tribe of Sabalon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. So here we find, <clears throat> during the tribulation period, <clears throat> God put in place missionaries, O men servant of the Lord, to, to be the messenger of uh, what we call the gospel. Now, God intended, in the olden times, God provided the prophets. In the olden times, God provided judges. In our times, God provided with pastors, missionaries, evangelists. God provided the church. But during the tribulation period, no more church. But God put men servant in a person of the Israelite male. 144,000 plus let's go to Revelation chapter 11 verses 3 to 7 you know what the sharug walay masave ani no look at this mission mission that God would like to bring the servant of the Lord in Revelation chapter 11 verse number 3 and I will give power unto my two witnesses. There are two witnesses. And they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days clothed in sackcloth. Meaning, the first three and a half years, Moses and Elijah will be here on earth. Do you know Moses was not found? God, uh, God was the one trying to uh, to uh, what we call this, keep Moses. And also, Elijah did not pass 
through physical death, but he was transported unto heaven through the chariot of fire. But during the tribulation period, they will be back. Moses and Elijah in verse number three, and I will give power unto my two wit my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days and clothed in sackcloth. Verse four. <clears throat> If any man will hurt them, fire proceed. Oh, these are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before God on of the earth. Verse 5. And if any man will hurt them during this period, fire will proceed out of their mouth and devour their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Verse 6. These have the power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy. Do you remember? Elijah prayed not to rain and it did not rain and have the power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as, oft, as often as they will. This was the time of uh, Moses in Egypt. Verse 7. And when they shall have finished their testimony, when they will finish these three and a half years, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. However, in three days, they will be alive. So here we find, <clears throat> during the tribulation period, God provided men's servants 144,000 Israelites plus the special witnesses in the person of Elijah and Moses just only for three and a half years because the remaining three and a half years will be the great, great tribulation period wherein Elijah and Moses will no longer be here and those missionaries are no longer here because the punishment is 100% already. So number one, the method of salvation by faith, by grace alone. And the second is the men servants of the Lord God provided missionaries during the great tribulation period. And many will be saved and seen in heaven, uh, being described in uh, Revelation chapter 7. Now, <clears throat> number three, <clears throat> the markings of God and Satan. Let's try to analyze this. No? The markings of God and Satan. Normally, Satan would also have his mark. But during the tribulation period, God would like to mark his messenger. He would like to mark his men servant. Let's, I, let's try to read in Revelation chapter 7 verse number 4. Revelation chapter 7 verse number 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. Notice, were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of the tribes of the children of Israel. So here we find, <clears throat> before God will allow destruction, before the trees will be burned, before the trees during the what we call the tribulation period, here we find <clears throat> there was the sealing of the servants of God, 144,000. In short, they can be uh, discerned because they have the mark. Now, let us try to see what Satan would do also. Look at Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. Revelation chapter 13, verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell save that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So, dili pod magpalugi ni si Satanas. 
na asyay it's either the mark or the name of the beast or the number ibutang din sa kamot or sa forehead now today the united states passed a resolution a house resolution 6666 what is this all about this is about truck tracing act and it was it was uh, brought in their house just this May 1, 2021. <clears throat> well, the Philippines is a third world country. And that's why I was, I was just contemplating that the markings already are evident. And they have all the reason for these uh, markings because we have <coughs> this pandemic <clears throat> and they would like to trace all and they, we are being preparing and so don't you ever have the marks of satan the markings are being prepared now and maybe maybe ang pagsundo sa ginoo sa ato basi karunan to iga no? ang pagsundo raba normally ang sundo raba sa ato sa rapture is a twinkling of an eye it is not an announced event Ang pagsundo is just a moment and then here comes why gi prepare naman ang tanang mga <coughs> mga signs <coughs> of the second coming katong pag-ani ni Jesus Christ dito sa Mount of Olives so ato makita ang uh, nagmarka po si Satanas now let's go to Revelation 14:11 Revelation 14, verse number 11. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest, nor na na rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name sabot if god has marked his missionaries and men servant satan also would like to give the mark and the markings are being prepared now and we know that these markings are being prepared so anytime please do not be discouraged because this will really happen. All global events are being arranged by God to the fulfillment of the prophecy and the prophecy of the great tribulation period. Uh, I would like to appeal to those, our people, if you will not be saved during this church age, please be saved during the tribulation period. Do not Receive the marks of Satan. If you have heard by faith to receive Christ, do it so. Although you will have to undergo all these what we call troubles for seven years. But you need to survive. If you die within the three and a half years and you die for the cause of Christ, you will just uh, be with us in heaven. But uh, we are just ahead of you. I hope that you will also consider that uh, receiving Christ now wherein it's not yet, not yet the tribulation period, it is still the church age. I believe that you come to Christ now. Although you can be saved during the tribulation period, but it is very, very difficult. We've discussed the markings of God in Satan. And then number four, about the tribulation period. Uh, number four is the men for the millennium. Who will be the men for the millennium since this great tribulation will be ended and the millennium will start? Who will be the men that will go to the millennium? Let's go to Matthew chapter 25. Matthew chapter 25 verses 32 to 33. Here are ang men during the millennial reign of Christ. 
when this tribulation period will be ended and the culmination will be at the end will the will be the battle of armageddon and then the war and then here comes the scenario verse number 32 and before him shall god be gathered all nations and shall separate them one from another as a shepherd divided his sheep from the goats verse 33 <clears throat> and he shall set the sheep on his right hand but the goats on the left verse number 46 and verse 46 and this shall go away into everlasting punishment but the righteous into life eternal so in short the men that will survive during the tribulation period of course those who had been dead uh, pass man sila sa langit no? during the first three and a half years <clears throat> but those that will survive and save still alive uh, they will continue they will continue to be the men of the millennium uh, it's not the millennials karang makadungog mo mga term nga, mga millennials they are not the millennials that will go to the millennium uh, they are not one except they be saved the men of the millennium are those that had been saved by the grace of God during the tribulation period and they passed through and yet did not die they will be those that will be ushered to the millennial reign of 1000 years so the sheep will go to the millennial reign the goats Dito sila ikuan, there will be a uh, gnashing, uh, gnashing of teeth. Why? Because they will be in outer darkness and they cannot go on. And of course, wala pa appeal ilahang body. No, it's not the body yet. Those that are uh, being sent to hell, only the very souls, but their bodies will be uh, resurrected during the great white throne judgment. So their souls only, including those souls unsaved during our church age time in the past, they are in hell, but they are not yet alive. Their bodies are still in the grave. They have to wait after the millennial, a millennial reign. After that, the great white throne judgment, that's the time that we will be resurrected, the unsaved dead bodies. So we discussed the men of the millennium. Now let's discuss... Uh, <clears throat> we have discussed already number one we have discussed the method of salvation number two we have discussed the men servant of God during the tribulation period number three we have discussed the markings of God in Satan and number four the men for the millennium and the last will be the Mockers punishment. The mockers punishment. When we say the mockers punishment, there are those who did not believe. There are those who did not believe the Messiah. There are those Gentiles and Israelites alike. And for those who are mockers, they will have this punishment. Now, you will say, Pastor, na amay mga mga men servant niya. Yes, they are on earth, but they are being spared from destruction. Uh, there are Gentiles who are saved during the tribulation period. Yes, they will be subjected to some uh, afflictions and persecutions, but they are not included in the punishments. Why? Because punishments are intended for the mockers. Uh, intended for the rejectors and here are some of their what we call uh, punishments there will be there will be 21 uh, punishments <clears throat> I will have to have a rundown and in the screen you will see 
First, they will be punished with the seven seals. And starting in Revelation chapter 6, verse number 1, all first they have what we call uh, the white horse. They will experience temporary peace. And people would believe that it's genuine peace, but it's not. And another next to that is the white horse in Revelation chapter 6, verse number 3. Uh, the red horse. The red horse is uh, to replace the peace with war. So, ang ilahang uh, temporary peace, ilisan sa ginoo o gira. And after that, followed by a black horse in verse number 5. Revelation 6, 5. The black horse meaning there will be what we call famine and pestilences. Wow, grabe. No? And then after the black horse, we have the pale horse. No, The pale horse, uh, at ang, uh, this speaks about death. Now, the death that we are experiencing in COVID-19 is not in comparison with the death during this time. Why? Uh, what is 280,000? 300,000? Half million? During this time, grabi ang kamatayon, no? Death. And then after that, we have the souls of, of those in the altars in heaven complaining <clears throat> we have read that there are multitudes of missionaries on earth during this time and they are complaining in heaven seen by john and they were asking lord how long will thou will you avenge our blood and then uh, it, it, it was answered to them just wait for the time that all your colleagues or the missionaries or the men servants of the lord will die then they will be given what we call vengeance. And number six, earthquakes. Uh, human naman atong earthquakes, no? Uh, pahuay sa tagamay, ilisan o pandemic. Unya, pagman, padahal na po tag ambo. No? Ambo. Salamat ang ban nga na ambo kay natsulod na daghang tubig sa Lamisa Dam, no? Pero uh, naapoy corresponding damages, no? And then, ang ikauno, number seven sa seal is silence. Now, sa trumpets, uh, ato makit ang uh, grabi, nagagrabi ang gitawag nato o mga kwa. Naani sa chapter 8, no? Sa chapter 8 of Revelation. Sa chapter 8, verse 7, ato makit ang, ang first ni Ani, ang trees will be burned and the all the grasses will be uh, burned. The trees, one third. One third of the trees will be burned by hail, blood, and fire. And all the grasses, 100% will be burned. And then the second trumpet, the sea, ang dagat. One third of the sea will turn into blood. One third of the living creatures will die. One third of the ship will be destroyed. And that will be a global, what we call, punishment. And then number three, the third trumpet, the rivers, drinking, drinking waters, sources, will become bitter. No, one, one third will become bitter. And then number four, sa trumpet, ang sun, ang moon, and stars will be darkened. One third only. And then number five, number five, the punishment, the locust. The locust that will uh, bite those who have the mark of the beast for five months and they will not die. And the locust has a sting like a scorpion. And then, in his ikaunom uh, nga trumpet, God prepared 200 uh, 
200 million armies. Imagine, ha? God will prepare 200 million armies and then it will kill the one-third population of the earth. Kaning ato arong COVID, uh, one, just minimal, no? Uh, this time, one-third. Kung ang ato ang population, 6 billion, ang mamatay is 2 billion. No? 2 billion. Today, 200,000 or plus dilira. No? And then we have uh, in 7, there will be lightnings, thunderings, and earthquakes likewise. Now, let's go to the last punishment. Ako naman yung gikuan, pero ako lang yung i-emphasize. Why? <coughs> because <clears throat> for you to uh, avail of the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ now, uh, the severity or the magnitude of the punishments, escalating magnitude of the punishment. Sa vials, 7 also in chapter 16, <clears throat> verse number 2. Number 1 is noisome source. No? Grabe nga uh, kanang mga uh, kabahong uh, noisam kan magagulo yung ka. And then number two, nga uh, vial is the sea 100% turn into the blood of mankind. In Revelation chapter 16 verse 3. And 100% of the creatures of the sea will die. And then number three, vial, the rivers will become blood, dead, as a dead man, worthy. The kaning mga gipanish ane, they are to drink the dead blood of men. All drinking sources of what we call fresh water will become blood. That's number three. And then number four is scourging heat. Now, when we say scourging heat, <coughs> uh, last week I experienced grabe nga init sa Davao City. Niabota sa 46.2 degrees Celsius. Niya, <coughs> nag-guang ko, nag-alindasay ko nga no maning perting inita na. Naasa Manila, ang pinakaas, taas nila 47, na ay 48, 49. Now, kanin panahonan eh, uh, layo raning uh, kaning, kaning ato ang na-experience karon kaning scourging heat ang scourging heat din ni inani ni siya ang, ang mga tao ani uh, gitawag na anay source ay mga kabahong unya nag-inom sila o tubig sa uh, imnanan sa blood niya kumuado sila sa dagat maligo sila baho kayo kay kwan dugo sa tao nga patay Pagkauman, paglakaw nila, barbecuehon pa yun sila sa adlaw perting inita. Unsa kay, unsa kay, unsa kay kung ano nila? Unsa kay gimarinate naman eh. No? Gimarinate, nahimong tusino na ni. No? Natusino na ni. Pagkauman, naapag yung scourging heat. No? Maluto ka ni, mag anong gitawag, barbecue. No? Barbecue, anong gitawag na to o kaning, uh, unsa yung anong grabe nga, uh, kung ano ni. Di po ni adubo kay kuan man eh. No? Oh, di li po ni matawag dinuguan. Diniguan. Di li po ni matawag kusahos. But ato makitaan yun din hing uh, scourging heat. One after the other. And then aside while while experiencing experiencing what we call the scourging heat. They will have the seat of Satan will have yun ang gitawag na to, Total darkness. No? Total darkness. Ato makita din na, no? Uh, uh, total darkness dito sa uh, kuha ni Satan. Dina sa verse number, kuha ni verse number 10. Verse number 10 of Revelation chapter 16. And then, followed by, kaning source of living, uh, gitawag generators, source of agriculture, source of life during this time kaning Euphrates River 
you preach river will be dried up so the middle east the life of the middle east will die will die because of its source of life cunning you phrase and then this will be dried up and this will be the avenue for all armies of the world we have the kings of the east we have the kings of the north. We have the kings of the south. They will be marching towards this Euphrates River uh, going to the valley of Megiddo. And after which, there will be what we call the Battle of Armageddon. And ato makita din hing grabe ang patay no? Nga ang dugo nga mubanaw kutob sa nostril sa horse. Ang mga matay ani. So, and then followed by the number seven. So great earthquake. Kaning earthquake is so great nga grabi kayo onya na ay corresponding hail, hail nga mahulog sa langit nga magulan nga fifty kilos per piece. No, ang hail or ice blocks nga magrain siya will be fifty kilos. And that will kill all the people. So, ato makit an nga grabi nga punishment. But I would like to inform you that the servants of the Lord are already taken up. Moses and Elijah have gone up. The saved ones were what we call taken up. Those who are dead, but those who are alive remain. And ato makit an din hinga. Uh, the mockers punishment no is uh, na 21 kinds of punishment seven seals seven trumpets and seven what we call vials in conclusion to be able to escape <coughs> from these punishments in the great tribulation period be saved now by repentance of sins remembrance that our life is temporary we have to realize that jesus christ paid all our sins on the cross of calvary and then receive christ as lord and savior into your life or in short ye must be born again now and be part of the family of God. So this great tribulation period, the method of souls, soul salvation, still by faith, the men servant, the 144,000, and also Moses and Elijah, the markings of God, <coughs> uh, the sealing of God's uh, servants, and Satan's uh, uh, mark, 666, and the men of the millennium, the ship, and the mockers' punishment, they will have 21 judgment. So, so that we will not, uh, we will not be uh, afraid, and all these things that will really happen, uh, your, your preparation should be now, and anytime, anytime at this moment, the trumpet will be sounded, so doon na ta, Oh, kwao na ta sa ginoo. And then, uh, commences this, what we call, the seven-year tribulation period. But please, uh, I would like to warn those who will not uh, be included in the rapture, you can be saved during the tribulation period. Just remember, the preachings that you have heard, you have to still call upon the Lord, but you have to suffer. And so this morning, I would like you to come to the Lord. If you have visitors in the home, kung ikaw karon din ha, wala yung kakabalo kung save kagdili, I would like you to uh, consider the invitation of the Lord Jesus Christ to avail of His offer of life eternal now that we are still uh, in, the, uh, in the hour of grace. We are still in the church age and you avail yourself because you do not know and you are afraid to die because you have no hope. So here, what you have to do, you have to 
Ask for forgiveness. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let Him be your Lord and Savior. By faith, receive Him into your heart. And this is how to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are in the home and you would like to avail and so that you will not be afraid and you will not be included in this great tribulation period, please come to Christ and I will lead you in this prayer and please follow after me. Follow after me if you are not yet saved, if you are not yet sure of going to heaven, if you have no relationship known to Christ, let it be now. Follow after me in this prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Loving Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. I acknowledge my sins and iniquities. Lord, please forgive me. I uh, know, Lord, that you paid all my sins on the cross of Calvary by your death on the cross. Thank you, Lord. Now I believe and will receive you, Lord, by genuine faith. Please come into my heart and save me. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for the hope that you have given me. Thank you, Lord, for life eternal. Now, Lord, help me to be a person, Lord, you want me to be. And help me, Lord, that I will grow in the knowledge of your word. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. This I pray. In Jesus' name. And Lord, to the Christians, Lord, help them, Lord, to be faithful. Help them, Lord, to consider the warning during the great tribulation period. And what we have to do is to witness our children, to witness our relatives, to witness, Lord, our loved ones, so that, Lord, they will also be prepared for the sundo, Lord, the rapture. Sa mo, Lord, na pagsundo sa mo, Lord, na pang dili mabilin ang amo ang mga anak, dili mabilin ang amo ang mga loved ones. And this time, Lord, nga we have time pa, please help us, Lord, to witness the simple plan of salvation. Salamat, Lord, and uh, I pray for each household today. Bless every family on uh, on our live streaming. Bless, Lord, our uh, audience and those, Lord, who have heard the message. Uh, let it be a chance for them, Lord, to come to you. If they have time, Lord, let them come to realize that there is still hope when come, one comes to Christ. Bless, Lord, our church. Bless our men. Bless our ladies, young people, and kindreds. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege of serving you. And this we pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen and amen. Best at our last hymn, Sunlight, first and last verse. 